Question seven. Sunset yellow is an additive used in the coloring food, and uh, this is how the sunset yellow ion anion looks like. So this is the structure. Of course, we will discuss all this later. And uh, for part A, state the molecular formula of this uh, sunset yellow anion. Uh, what you need to do, you just need to count the uh, carbon and hydrogen number. Uh, so the because this is a benzene ring, so when you see this, uh, this is actually not CH two. This is CH. So this one is CH. This one is CH. This one is CH. This one also CH. So when you know that. Uh, so you can count the carbon number. So carbon number is total 16. Okay, let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hydrogen here has 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one. Of course, nitrogen just two. Oxygen is seven. Three plus three plus one. Sulfur is just two. One, two. So this is the molecular formula. And B deduce the structure of E, F, and G then. Then we need to know uh, for this sunset yellow uh, because th this is the azo link, and we know that uh, this uh, azo dye is uh, from two different uh, uh, compound. So most likely is this is one of that, and another one is this. So before you suggest a structure, you should at least know is actually. Uh, make from two molecules or two uh, species right and if we know this then we can start from this uh, step one okay because here is it has one nitrogen so it's telling you you should start from start from here right for means uh, how to make this part so for this one because car six carbon here, so there is a benzene ring, and the SO3 negative is here. So this one uh, is not really involved in any reaction. So the one that reacts is this, uh, this uh, phenylamine. So we need to convert this phenylamine to this benzene diazonium ion, means this one. So means the nitrogen now with positive charge and triple bonds. This we call benzene diazonium ion. And it need to undergo the reactions we call diazotization. So means this is how it looks like for F. So it's actually this uh, phenylamine now changed to this group. Uh, you need to put a positive charge on this N uh, because this N it has four bondings. And how to form uh, this uh, this benzene diazonium ion? So this is a reagent. Step one. Huh? So either use this or we use this. Normally we will use this one because the HNO two it need to form in situ means during reaction. When we add the so this uh, this uh, sodium nitrite or the NaNO two and uh, acid. So it will form this HNO2. And the condition, of course, need to be uh, below 10 degrees C. Normally, we just put 5 degrees C. So this is how to form the benzene diazonium ion from the phenylamine. Right? Means the step one. So after this one is formed, then it will react with G. So the G is uh, quite straightforward, as you can see from this structure. As I told you just now, uh, this one is actually a phenols groups here with another ring and SO3 negative. So basically, it's this one. 
okay we means this one of course this one now uh, no bonding right it will form bondings later with the benzene isonium ion right so this is how the g looks like okay means this one so therefore now the f and g will react uh, it's actually uh, we the the reactions we call coupling reaction uh, is actually the uh, electrophilic sub, uh, substitutions reaction because it, this is a phenol if you direct two four six okay so see, this one is first this one is uh, second carbon so it would direct two four six uh, uh, position so therefore the benzene diazonium ion will form bonding with this second carbon so means okay it will be okay this is first carbon so this is second carbon the benzene diazonium ion will form bonding okay with the second carbon to form this sunset yellow so means benzene ring now form new bonding with this n and one of the pi bonds break and this pair of electrons will move to this nitrogen okay and it will form this uh, this uh, azo link right okay this is how it's formed and of course step two step two huh? okay how to do this step two means when this one and this one reacts we need to use sodium hydroxide why because sodium hydroxide can make the phenol stronger easier to react with this benzene diazonium ion right so the condition is sodium hydroxide now uh, for the part D, uh, predict the numbers of peaks in the carbon-13 NMR. So we need to count the numbers of non-equivalence carbon. So it's 14. Uh, how to get this? So just follow the numbering. Okay, this one is first carbon, 1, 2. These two, they are equivalence. These two also equivalence. That's why we cannot count... Uh, or include uh, more carbon means we just use one two three four after that five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so total fourteen peaks there Port fourteen different carbons okay so that's why you see these uh, fourteen peaks in this uh, compound so for non-equivalence carbon. Okay, that's all. Thank you.